Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Longhorn Weekly as we come your way here from Pluckers, the West Campus location here in Austin, presented by the Texas Lottery. My name is Craig Way. Head coach Tom Herman will be along in a few minutes, but we always uh, begin the program with a member of Coach Herman's staff. And in this case, uh, one of the uh, more unique perspectives on the game to come this week between the Texas Longhorns and the Oklahoma Sooners. Uh, we're very pleased to have uh, tight ends and special teams coach Jay Bulware, who is with us. Uh, and, and of course, all the years that Coach Bulware was up at Oklahoma, but played as a Texas Longhorn, but I remember him best as a Nimitz Viking from Irving back in the day, which makes me feel a little bit older, but it's good to see you. How are you? Real good, real good. Uh, just, you know, finishing up the final Final little tune tune up for the uh, game for this weekend, but uh, other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so yeah. let's let, let's clear the deck right off the uh, right out of the gate here uh, for for folks who don't know your background. Like I said, of course, you were a, a proud Nimitz Viking from Irving and played for Coach Mike Farda there. But beyond that, it, it, tell everybody about your path and how it ultimately led you back here to Austin. Oh wow! Uh, well. Uh, <laughs> You want the short version no, or the no, long no, version? No, we got some time here. Uh, well, um, you know, interesting how it happened. Uh, obviously, uh, since I left here, uh, I've always wanted to come back and be a Longhorn again. By uh, the way, Jay, of course, played at the University of Texas. Yes. yes. And, um, you know, so my path really, you know, everything I did in my career was, hey, you know, this is going to prepare me to be a great coach here someday. And uh, matter of fact, uh, I even took a job. Uh, with Gene Chizik, uh, who was the hot name at the time at Iowa State. And uh, just so I can, I felt like getting back to the Big 12 would be uh, one step closer. Well, it didn't happen that way. Obviously, you know, you have your plans and then, and then God has his plans. So, um, you know, so uh, we end up going a different, different path and going to Auburn uh, after that. And, um, and then I took another job <laughs> thinking that, you know what, if I do a good job here, uh, I, I might have a good chance to get getting back to the University of Texas, and and, and so I took a job at Oklahoma. <laughs> and um, so and even when you took the job at Oklahoma, it was in the back of your mind yes, that ultimately the destination you were desiring was to be back in Austin. Yeah, I mean that's that's really what it was. I mean I wanted to do a great job. Uh, I wanted to win this weekend. Uh, so hopefully maybe someday I, I get noticed. Um, and you know and. Maybe somebody I wanted to earn my way back onto this staff and uh, be here someday. And the years just kept turning, you know. <laughs> it just kept going along and going along and going along. And then finally I got a call. Uh, and my, mind you now, I've had a couple calls through the course of my career. And and I uh, just didn't know the coaching staff that well. Uh, so it just never really worked out for me uh, to, to end up back here. Um, but uh, when I got the phone call, uh, both me and my wife were, were really pumped. Now, speaking of your wife, you always tell a great story about this, about uh, how e even though it was in your heart and in your ultimate desire and plan to return uh, to Austin, the University of Texas, it was kind of beyond that uh, with, with your wife because she kind of she kind of wore it almost daily, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, uh, I had to tell her to put her Longhorn slippers away. Uh, when my players came over uh, for, for barbecues and whatnot at my house because she walked around with them religiously. I mean, to the point where I had to buy her some new ones. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so uh, she's, she's a Longhorn through and through, uh, graduated from the business school here, and uh, we met here on campus. Uh, we didn't get married right away, but, uh, but uh, we met here, and uh, that's how I got to know her. Did she used to, you know, even campaign you, give you a little more grief during all that time as the years were rolling by? But Hey, uh, master plan here. Are we? Are we? Uh, is it still? Because she obviously wanted to get back here as well. Uh, yeah. The only thing she ever did is she told me, "Well, you just can't ever go to A&M. That, that's the one thing that I'm, I'm drawing the line right there. You're never going to Texas A&M." And she meant it too. <laughs> so. Well, uh, okay. So then arriving back here, uh, uh, des describe what it's been like to be not only on Coach Herman's staff, but to be back here in Austin, to be in the university community and what that has meant to you and your wife as well. It, it's, it's meant the world to me. Um, being around my, my teammates uh, that, that, you know, obviously passed, um, you know, and being able to see those guys. Um, you know, when I first got here, obviously the pandemic has limited that. Uh, we're kind of in our own little bubble now, so I had to chunk the deuces up to those guys uh, when they tried to get me to have a little get-together uh, a few weeks back, and I'm like, hey, you know, we're – 
we're kind of locked in here as a team, and I just don't want to jeopardize that. So, um, but, but it's been outstanding. I mean, just being in this city, uh, being at this university, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of in awe a little bit, to be honest with you, because, you know, it's, it was a dream that became a reality. And so I walk around uh, campus, uh, you know, at lunch, if I'm going for a walk or just even driving or just being anywhere in the city, you know, this is a beautiful city. Uh, both me and my wife absolutely love this place. And so just everything about it is, is just, it's been, it's been like a dream come true. Uh, let's, let's discuss your, your areas of uh, expertise and your areas certainly uh, of, of, of interest as you uh, are part of this coaching staff. First of all, uh, let's talk special teams and, and what, it, what it means to you and what you see out of your guys uh, on special teams. Well, I, 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 see, I see us growing. And um, each and every, every week I see us continue to get better. Uh, I think the guys have really bought into what we're doing. And uh, I, I couldn't be in a better situation for that because I, – and I, and I tell this story to, to some of the guys. Uh, my first phone call uh, from Coach Herman was, was about special teams. And, and that really, you know, set, set the stage for me in terms of what, what my expectation level was here and, and kind of his involvement. Uh, the last time I had involvement like that was with Gene Chizik, uh, and we won a national title together. And, um, you know, we kind of did it together. And uh, that's really what Coach Herman and I are doing. We, you know, we, we talk a lot of things out, and, um, and I, I really appreciate that because he, he adds a different dimension to, you know, what we're doing and, and, and what I'm looking for and all that type of stuff. So, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of, you know, um, for lack of better words, kind of, you know, a yin and yang, you know, type thing, if I'm saying that correctly. You know, he has the, th the way that they've done things here in the past, and I have ways that I've done things, and we kind of come together and meet in the middle. Uh, obviously, uh, he has the, the final say in everything, but, but it's helping me grow as a coach. You know, maybe there's an area that I can be a little bit more um, uh, detailed in terms of uh, my communication or communicate better. You know, because he's sitting in every one of my meetings, and, and, and if he's not understanding it, then the kids aren't understanding it either. So uh, that's really, you know, been a, a huge plus for me as a, as a coach and my growth uh, because I, I, I want to grow. I mean, that's, that's, that's the biggest thing for me uh, with any job I take. I want to continue to get better and, and always try to stay on the cutting edge of everything that I'm doing. So uh, that's been a blessing in my, in, in my mind. So. Um, that's that's really really it. How how different would you characterize your conversations within that group, say talking to pump block team or or uh, a Deshaun Jameson as opposed to talking to a Ryan Bashevsky or, or or even a Cameron Digger? Those types of conversations. I mean, I would imagine those are wide ranging conversations because they are specialty areas for for several of those guys, depending on what you're asking of them. Well, yeah, I mean, you know. Coach, coach didn't hire me because I didn't know what I was doing. I've done this for a long time. So I have a bunch of uh, expertise in a lot of different areas. Uh, I've had my last three kickers that I've recruited are all in the NFL. I've had a punter go to an NFL camp. I've got a long snapper on an NFL team. So uh, as well as obviously the specialists, you know, I got specialists that are in the NFL and, and I've had, you know, a number of, you know, top notch you know, return units uh, throughout my years and whatnot. So I know what I'm looking for. And, and, and I'm a thief, like most coaches. I, I've, I've begged and borrowed and stolen things from coaches all over the country, as well as guys in the NFL. And so I feel very confident in what I'm teaching the guys. And, um, you know, any, anything that, that, that comes up, you know, I feel like, you know, we have answers for it. I, I asked Coach Herman this last week when uh, a conversation – uh, with uh, Deshaun Jamison when you have a, the weird ricochet and the fumble thing that goes for a touchdown for Texas Tech. But yet he also has big returns as well. That's he right. said I didn't even say anything to him. Didn't he didn't, didn't even need to say anything to no. him about it because I know we know what we have in him and we know we know his mindset and how well he's been coached and his instruction. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, one of the first things I did when I got here was, you know, just dive into the tape. I just really, I just really got in and, and tried to understand and learn our personnel and one of the things that I saw was was uh, you know just you know our, our attention to detail in receiving the ball uh, so you know we just kind of go back to drills and that's what we've been doing as a staff we drill those guys on how to do everything you know from you know a block 
to how to field a punt correctly. So it uh, doesn't mean that we're going to do everything right, but we have things that we can fall back on with our guys uh, when, when they get in trouble. So their confidence is not shot. They understand, okay, well, here's the issue. It's not that I just dropped it. It's real easy to sit there and say, well, you dropped this punt or you muffed this punt, but, but uh, why did we do that? You know, that's the key thing that we, we wanted to address in the offseason. You brought up deep snapping, and a lot of folks, they don't even think about that. But it, in Justin Modern, Zach Edwards, you got guys who could do that. And, and uh, uh, guys who I, I saw Justin go down and make the, make the play on a punt, at the tackle on a punt after doing that. And I know they take a lot of pride in it, as do you, about making sure they execute their responsibility. Yeah, make no mistake about it. I mean, special teams is important here at the University of Texas. Like I said, it starts with our head coach. And, uh, and it gravitates or permeates through our program. And uh, so it, it's important to everyone. And I, I don't miss an opportunity to make sure I explain that to those guys over and over and over again because we, we can control the momentum of a game. You know, we preach E4. You know, we want our guys to play with energy, uh, to energize, play with an edge, and execute every single play because we know that one of these plays can absolutely turn a game around or – swing a game into your favor even more so than it was before. So that's what we look for on teams. And then the final thing I was going to ask you about your position group with tight ends. I mean, the Longhorn fans got to know Kate Brewer and what he's doing, but I think everybody really got introduced to Jared Wiley last <laughs> week. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. Jared, Jared has done a great job for us. Uh, he's been coming in a lot on our, in our 12 personnel package. Uh, he's the other tight end that's been playing alongside with Cade. And uh, really, I got a tremendous room. I'm really, really fortunate to inherit, you know, uh, four or five quality guys at that position that I feel like can do a really good job for us here. And you know what? They 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 are completely bought into what we're doing offensively, uh, into you know the the atmosphere in our room. Um, uh, we we absolutely enjoy each other every single day, and so um, you know they they take it they take pride in in performing and and being there when they're needed. Okay, uh, the toughest question of all. Bigger alum from Nimitz High School in Irving, you or Michael Huff? Oh wow, <laughs> there's there's not even <laughs> that's not even a discussion. <laughs> I was going to give you a chance. Dude. I didn't hey, know. <laughs> hey, I'm out. <laughs> I'm taking the time out. We actually had another one, a uh, guy by the name of Roderick Walker. Yep, uh, played here as well. Uh, was also a Nimitz High alum. Uh, he came in the year before me, and so Huff was actually the third guy that I know of that came from our school. So. Uh, but he's by far the best player that came out so far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Great to see you, Jay. Appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. All right. Jay Bulware joins us. Coach Herman joins us next with Longhorn Weekly with head coach Tom Herman from here at Pluckers, the West Campus location in Austin, and presented by the Texas Lottery, continues here on the Longhorn Network and the Longhorn Radio Network from Learfield IMG College.